The naive poet learns from a silver-tongued devil. Rivka Leela Reed, November 28, 2017. Zero, a curious comment provokes action. The silver-tongued devil pushed her poetry with power. Then I read the rage that I wrote in my head. She let her said, yeah, you're okay. And said I reminded her of Anne Sexton, <laughs> who I'd not heard of. To the library then, to see what I've done. I'm sure I'll be able to figure out where's the connect. Stay on the mic. One, from just above the brainstem. Oh my, I see, so obviously, I write so closely to the fire in my head. Anne's dead. It wasn't so easy till she learned to keep quiet. No threat. Just do it. Just do it. For 400 days, even more, every day, I took stock of my score and found just enough reasons to stay maybe one day until I might want to live. It came in May. Two, time's reality is objective. Anne's shadows remind me that imperfect though these pills be, I partly owe my life to pharmacology. <clears throat> but she, she was locked away. Dang hard to get better living with your own kind with roomies who want to be dead too. Now, being sedated isn't hard to get to like. But they took your kids away. I used to write songs, three chords in the truth. Good songs with good stories but not my truth, hell no. Three, the songs are gone. That day, that day when the leaning, cracking walls fell in hard and flat, and I reacted by stringing sets of words which I later decided to call poetry. That day, that day, I filled 182 pages with three pens. Thank God I was not locked up someplace. Writing as confinement? Gosh, there's no need to find analogs everywhere, is there? I watched as I sliced open my chest and pulled a weeping bloody heart beating in 916 time. I threw mine to a table of strangers, the people who heard had no context, it would stand on words and expression alone, but O-M-G, it's on YouTube, what to do? Sing, damn it, sing, la, ah. just let it stand, let it roll, let it be heard by those who may be held. Within my words, all drippy ink of suicidal ideation and boundless indignation on rigidity of stupid worlds of gender related to the word genre. That came from the French. I know these draconian rules will die. It should be a revolution of freedom. But I think they will die so slowly we won't even notice. I'm sorry, Leela. I hear it differently every time I read it. Four will be done soon, whatever done means to you. So now we get it. Anne Sexton died, probably in the way that I think is least hard on her and all affected. CO poisoning. Listen, compared to living, you won't suffer. No one has to clean up your brains or blood. No one will wish they hadn't written that prescription. No devastated driver operator who, even knowing they could never have stopped, will be haunted fighting the guilt feel or be subject to inquest. I'm kind of happy now. I kind of feel better. I'm also wondering, am I a poet in my full soul? Or only when I'm drowning, slowly drowning? 
We won't know that until some years pass. Meanwhile, my clavichord has cleared customs and will be mine. 48 years after me, a child fell in love with it on scratchy yellow blue covered archive recordings of Sebastian and the wives and kids. Well, it wasn't their audio, but they did record. They recorded in notebooks, numbers of them, work paper, with inconsistent and contradictory evidence. Oh, but just drink the music. Just drink the music. Five, the questions to the answers. So Anne Sexton died, and after that, wrote no more poems. If I've quit the idea of dying, will I just lower the power of my poetry? Or will I have, like Anne, no more poems? Okay.